their helicopter as Suspects well. Suspects stole they may long need, rifles. Actually, my pilot Dylan informed me that they are on this now, and they might need Isn't multiple taking... eyes in the air because this, these people are dri this driver is going so so fast. Yeah, and it makes you wonder whether or not these uh, burglars or these thieves are from the LA area, went to San Diego to commit this crime, and now heading back north because, as, as Desmond was saying, Pat, they weren't stopped or they weren't they tried to get stopped till they hit Orange County, so. I mean, they drove quite a distance. Yeah, and, and would probably like to go even further. Yeah. Choppers. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, and, and you know what, Des? It's, it's difficult, I'm obviously, bad. when you're on the freeway. Uh, you've got traffic out there at these high speeds. Um, but they're going to obviously stay on top of this. Well, they certainly are so far. Um, but, you know, you, you sort of, what do you do at mm -hmm. this particular? You can't mm -hmm. do a spike strip for sure. Yeah. You certainly can't pit. <clears throat> uh, all you can do is really try to stay on top of this or follow. Uh, these people as, as, as long as you can. You mentioned CHP b being overhead. Are they also on the ground? Uh, I believe that is them on the ground, right, yes. Right. Uh, you see that uh, that single black door there. So this is CHP. And again, this started with Orange County Sheriff's deputies. Mm -hmm. And you're right, when, you, when you've got speeds like this, there's really not a lot they can do at this moment. All they can hope is that the suspect gets off of the freeway and slows down, but there's really no indication that that's going to happen. So that could be even more dangerous for the public uh, or hope that they run out of gas or maybe just you know pull over and, and get out and run like that. But as far as uh, them actively bringing this to an end, on the freeway, uh, that is uh, not in the cards right now, that's for sure. All right, they're in the uh, Downey Norwalk area. And so far, we haven't seen any movement of them trying to go on surface streets or haven't heard anything like that, um, right, Desmond? They've been committed to freeways since this thing started. That's what we've heard. We heard this uh, initiate with the, when they were trying to pull uh, pull this vehicle over. It was around the 405 and the 22, uh, and uh, so we made record timing to get up here. I'm back, Long so Beach. we're ready. We were coming yeah. from downtown LA, and we heard 120 miles an hour, and we had to you know chart a different course so that we could catch up with this pursuit as it uh, goes underneath us. And now we are already on the westbound 105. So I mean, oh, it, it's it's about hard. 10 minutes time. We've gone from the Orange County line now well into L.A. County wow. onto this westbound 105, uh, the Century Freeway. And, you know, let's see uh, where these folks are headed. If there's any rhyme or reason to this, you know, we've got the uh, LAX Where the wind blows. I got your LA, which can make things so difficult for law out. enforcement. These Thank speeds, you so much. I mean, so, just wow. these such Yesterday, movements here at 100 miles an hour. All it's going to take is one person making a lane change here, uh, somebody drifting into a lane or just not looking at enough time. I mean, just look at how quickly this person is flying by all of these vehicles right here extremely nerve-wracking uh, a, a crash right now would be catastrophic no question about mm -hmm. that mike yeah hi pat so i've been just listening to some of this radio traffic they say uh, two to three suspects were involved in the burglary mm -hmm. they believe that two to three suspects are in the vehicle as well uh two wow. to three men specifically i also have just heard them um the chp helicopter as desmond mentioned is overhead uh, they've right, actually uh, asked to alert lax as we're heading the westbound 105, we'll eventually dead end in the LAX. Mm -hmm. right. uh, and they've asked LAX PD to come and try to be aware and be on the perimeter of LAX in case this enters that airspace. Uh, as we've talked about many times before, and Desmond can attest, as soon as they get into that LAX airspace, uh, more so right on the edge of those runways, even the law enforcement helicopters can't kind of follow in that area. So they really want LAX PD uh, to be, right to be oh, ready uh, if something <sighs> were to happen there. You know, and as Desmond wow. was talking about mm -hmm. the speeds that they're driving, if they, they happen to swerve into a vehicle, but even, you know, on our freeways, it, it could take something on the road. We have things that fall out, out of vehicles yep. all the time. Ooh, and that them. certainly would be mm -hmm. catastrophic, yeah, yeah. catastrophic as well. So anything could happen. Yeah, I, I mean, this guy was just driving. It was just driving on the right-hand shoulder there at about 100 miles an hour. That's where you know debris, all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff, gets swept over towards the the shoulder for Caltrans to come and pick up at a later time. So they're very lucky the lanes were clear right there. And now we're off the freeway here at Imperial Highway, Ooh, and now we're already on mess the edge here. of that LAX airspace, Damn. right through that red light. And so here we come now into the Watts area. And I believe oh, make sure this you guys is hit the like button. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. damn, already? Oh, look at this. Four people. Four. All of them. All and of them. The they came right into this it. neighborhood. Oh, and they're wow. all out, and they, and they left that it to drive there bail. as well. So well, maybe, we saw everyone uh, scatter. I believe this is the driver underneath this tree, I believe. But uh, it looks like we might be in one of the projects right here, just north of the uh, 105 freeway. <laughs> people running all over the place. Gosh, I, I think this is. 
Oh boy, and now I think this might be. Uh oh. Okay, well we got a couple of them running over this way. They all run in this area. You gotta split well. up. Okay, we've got three of the suspects now running 105th Croceus Avenue, coming into this parking lot. So, boy, it, uh, now did they come up to oh, this area good. specifically? They I mean, take they another right car. The freeway and bailed right uh, in this area. And now these they're trying to blend in. These, they're just kind of acting the like same they're not guys. involved in this right now. But we're we see you. You're the same motherfuckers I was running. Looking at right now. <laughs> they just went under the tree, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> well, they kind of were casually. I, you mm -hmm. know, it's really dark, Desmond, but I can. Oh shit! They might have blended not, in. Well, there's the um, law enforcement is right in the area. I just saw one drive <laughs> by, so I'm sure in there's a minute. Well, right there's there. another one. They're going to yeah. have this uh, perimeter. Set up a they're walking right back like nothing. Like, the that's them. I went that way. Jeez. Uh, look, <laughs> look at this vehicle. Well, and you, you saw those, and you, yeah. you, the you car's still the going. You spotlight here from, uh, from the sheriff's Bruh. helicopter overhead. But I think I they got lost yeah. underneath the buildings and the trees. I'm pretty sure these are two, possibly three of the suspects. I remember seeing a white hoodie. They all they got out, and the it looked like they were scattering. Where's now, the car these at? Other people here. They're kind of trailing them, like, what's going on? What's going on? Why are these people running through our neighborhood uh, right now? But now I'm trying to be a part of the scene? Sure that well now we've we've got mixing of four or five six different people now oh. it's really going to be difficult to tell who's who they've got hoodies on black and white hoodies uh so this is really really tough to uh wow. to discern Everyone that guy right there he's up to the right same guy yeah, uh, two went to the oh, left two right. went to the right we've yeah no, we're I, just I showing the replay there, there desmond black mm -hmm. and, and white hoodie yeah but uh i do not i don't Thank see law enforcement they went they went flying wow. by uh, no. At, at one point, and mm -hmm. this is, you know, sometimes we see suspects do this where they, they sprint, they get away, and then they, just, you, and they just act like, oh, no, I'm just out here, you know, Friday night. We're just out here uh, hanging out with our friends. And wow. then now it's well, really hard to four. determine did, who's who. Did you see you see, that yeah, there's more than four. First I thought, well, you've got four, so that's pretty obvious, but there were yeah. more, more than four people there. Counting As you six, can see, seven, two eight, are handing, yeah. you know, kind of staying back, and these three or four, they're walking away. And, and Desmond, really quick, if you see the CHP helicopter, it sounds like they've got the driver under their light. Um, so now he may have okay. gone into mm -hmm. the residence, they're saying. And, and really quick, Pat and Juan, I want to tell you, we uh, just got a phone with San Diego Sheriff. Uh, we've learned that the, the suspects stole an entire safe full of weapons. Wow. Um, and so that's why, obviously, they wanted to get these guys, but an entire safe was stolen in that burglary. And that's Burger. obviously too, can't get that out of the mm -hmm. vehicle, but I'm sure they probably yeah. caught up with that vehicle by now. Yet there's... There's CHP or sheriff's deputies down there. Obviously, got their eyes on these folks here. But there's enough. There's certainly more than four yeah. in this particular yeah. area. Celebrating too. Uh, mixed in, maybe. Yeah. You know, that's just make make it a guess, well, or just people that are there. What, yeah. Obviously, what they're trying to do to blend in, and we've mm. got several people wearing white hoodies and black hoodies, and now it's just it's very difficult to tell who's who. Uh, and and gosh, it seems I mean, like the group keeps growing. Right there, but I think. Uh, yeah, you? they are, and you know, law enforcement was right there. Lisa, but you thank you. Thank you for the chat. I only saw that one lead unit that was right there, and uh, thank you, Amanda, for the super chat. Appreciate it. Happy Saturday night, Mel. Thanks for entertaining us. Cheers. Thank you, and also thank you, Lisa Joyful. Thank you for the super chat. Um, I, I, apparently, they stole a safe of weapons. That's CHP's they just blended right in over here. Got the spotlight on, but it's going to hmm. be. Ooh, very hard to identify group. who's innocent and, and who's a suspect now. Can we tell yeah. about right, um, vehicles say, on the ground the news there? Crew tell is, who's, um, we know there are a number of law that. enforcement this, this wow. I don't in know. the area. Are they still in their Man, vehicles? Are they out, Desmond? Can you tell? Put them in a line up. Wow, look at that. Uh, they know, walk. <laughs> yeah, they're shining the light on them, too. Potentially lose these suspects, but... Um, you know, put them in a lineup. Here Do you think that's why they foot billed there? Just north of the maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe they called, the yeah. Exit. Some friends or something. Oh, called the hoods. Yeah, probably had their friends meet with, them there. Uh, lots of parking <laughs> lots and stuff. It might be kind of difficult for them to navigate and probably near impossible to seal off, especially when you have all these people out here. I, we you know that one of these the people time. with a white hoodie, I, I think it's that <laughs> right in the middle of the screen. I don't know what I'm pretty sure as about as certain as I can be and here we go now we have some officers that have come up to meet this this group. finally and this is going to be a difficult situation for them now uh, wow. as a, a large group of people Look at, this. at least one or two suspects here and, and a lot of other people that's, that, that that's crazy with this. Those are officers and deputies down there now. 
Damn. Two right up against them. Like, and I can hear that that uh, California high patrol <laughs> helicopter did identify one of these people in the crowd as a suspect. Uh, and they're trying to get wow. these officers right and deputies yep. to. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah, you, you bro. That's crazy. Uh -huh. well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think. Maybe you should have taken off the hoodie. I obviously Isn't that right? a Oh, right. Daryl Brooks. Daryl Brooks sure. is even smarter than that. <laughs> to, to he took off his, the, his, the off his that city. Took off his hoodie. Sprinting oh. earlier and then stopping Jeez. and coming back to this oh, area. Oh yep, there's the hoodie and laying I on the thing. I think that they may have the right person, mm -hmm. oh, but they got this him. is a, a, just a nope. very difficult situation. That guy got on the ground for no well, reason. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about the right person, but <laughs> also that's one of three. I mean, yeah, one of four. So is that one of the guys that they that laid on the ground? And will this? Yeah, one guy just got up, like, tell oh, officers where the other three are. Right, well, there's that. Yeah. And I mean, you know, we were dealing with this case in Seal Beach the other day where the officers were actually able to use fingerprints on the cars to okay. try to identify some of these guys. So that may be uh, a tactic they'll try to use later. Obviously, that won't help them right mm -hmm. this moment. Oh, that's a play area. Good luck. It's a kid's playground. Yeah, playground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So far, yeah. only one in custody, uh, huh, Des? That we're seeing? Is it going to snitch? So. Uh, <laughs> we'll Marie, we thank you. Info from the helicopter overhead, but this has just been a, a very chaotic ending. But you know, sometimes you know we say the suspects come come up to areas that uh, they're familiar with. It seemed like these people had a plan from the very beginning to come. They must have been very familiar with this area. Just come flying up here as quickly as possible out of Orange County. Made it up here in record timing, right off the freeway, right through that light, and immediately out of the vehicle. So. We're yeah. getting at least one person in custody with relative certainty that this is one of the four, but as for the other three, uh, uh, un unknown at this point. And let's let's just go over this one more time, Desmond. They they, they stole a safe from yeah. somewhere in San Diego so, County. In Pat, we actually okay. just got more information from the San Diego Sheriff. Uh, it was in Poway, which is kind of the northeastern yeah. point of San Diego. Uh, just north of the city there. Uh, that call time was 8.02 p.m. is what time the, the burglary happened. So, you know, almost an hour and a half now. Yeah. Uh, and they stole the weapons out of the safe. So we think the safe was still there, but they took all the of the weapons safe. out of it. Oh, they took the weapons out of out the safe. Out of the safe and oh. took it in, the, in their car, theoretically. So, I mean, you know, an hour and a half ago, that's pretty much drive time from there to here. So right. it doesn't seem like they may have, maybe were able to make any stops in between. And did they know the, the house to target, uh, too? That's another question. Uh-oh. Huh. It's a mess. Where do those people come from? Well, that, that's uh, not good. That one, I just noticed somebody they looked them. like they were uh, throwing something uh. here at officers. And now uh, this is kind of what uh -oh. I was saying about, you know, th yeah. they're, they're walking into a pretty volatile situation now into this neighborhood. There's a large group of people, and now words are being exchanged. And now, I mean, it, it okay. looks like... CHP officers forming yeah, they're gonna kind accuse of almost them of a skirmish line. Oh, oh. I saw something being thrown in the direction of one of these officers. It might have just been food or something like that. It's right in front of this officer, right near his flashlight. Uh, uh, dispatchers are advising the officers to keep their heads up because things are being thrown. I also see that's Orange oh, County no. Sheriff right there with them, too. The donuts? So you've got CHP, yeah. Orange County <laughs> Sheriff's. And L.A. Sheriff, and I believe, LA as Sheriff's. well. Three law enforcement agencies. Leslie, thank you so mm -hmm. much. A lot of people hey. in the area out fusion yeah yeah Leslie, thank you for the super chat. Says Mel, you rock. SW four by fours. Thank you for the super chat. Says I needed a great chase. The chase is all right. It's all right, man. Like I've gotten so used to the substance that I, I need something stronger, something longer lasting, and it's just like it's all right. It's cool. It's good. It's a little something. We gotta take what we can get, I guess, just to get by. And Marie, thank you so much for the super chat. Says always providing us with quality entertainment. Love you, Mel. No, thank you. We were just chilling on Discord watching this. Um, and Julie, thank you on Facebook too. Thank you for the stars. Amazing. Uh, this whole situation here has turned to like a mess. And the people that you hear in the background, that that's the people here with me on Discord. We're chilling on Discord as well. There's like, I don't know how many people here. Where did the car go? That's where I was, uh, what now? Wasn't it right there or no? I think it was a little farther up. I don't know where it went. Ascertain if any of those I'm wondering if they hit a house people. or something. Well, and they're talking about right now, Pat, that or if the cops come in and, 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 and stop it. Uh, they're not entirely that too, clear on which one that. it is, so that's presenting a lot of difficulties for them, but they uh. see a suspect run into a home. <laughs> My tolerance this is, is a up on chases, Katie says. Right side of your screen. This is what happened. <laughs> is that not where they are right now? Development, you could see two run out to the left and two run out to the right. Mm -hmm. fell, the car is still going. There's a, I didn't, officers are right behind them, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Yeah, they just got out. Yeah, that's where they are right now. And it, it looked like they were splitting up. Oh, it we is. were watching the driver, and then I saw Imagine if it was stolen two of the other suspects come it? and join. Oh my god, the <laughs> they got away. The shot, and then they suddenly started intermingling with two or three other people, and then three of them were standing there, and then was able to track at, at least the, the one person. We're pretty sure is the one that we saw get into the back of that uh, CHP cruiser, and the other two. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, it was just like a, a big a big shuffling of, of hoodies there with uh, with a bunch of people and just uh, so difficult to tell <laughs> uh, what was what. And think and using the in the on YouTube says uh, I thought the people talking were news commentators interrupting each other. <laughs> on the other people, and then of course, you know, they could just take they could just take their sweatshirts off and you know do. Uh, no, we're just interrupting Mel. Uh, disguise themselves. No, you guys are good way, actually. Just, it's nice. You know, ditch part of their clothing, and that's going to make things even more difficult. Desmond, is that car still in the shot there? Make the like. Uh, oh, yeah, the please. Susp uh, well, the pursuit? Um, let's Vehicle. see what happened to that. So it was right uh, here at this corner, I believe, where we see came if up click and it or we not. saw that they had left that blue car in drive and it continued oh, there it to is. move. Right. And I assume oh, that no. the officer Actually, no, I don't know. Where, where is it at? Did they pull it to the side? Maybe over to the curb at some point. Uh-huh. Or somebody at least put it in park. And now that's a good stolen. question, Juan. I, I can't see where uh, yeah. where that blue vehicle disappeared to. I can see they put up a police mm. line too between that uh, pickup truck right there in the middle of your shot. Well, yeah, quite a bit of police line actually. That's a, is is that the vehicle or not in the no. middle of our shot there? <laughs> That's a uh, cop it car. Was a blue, I think it was like a blue BMW. It was, and I actually just played back the video. The vehicle left. I just walked, played back your video. No. Oh, no. Oh, Rachel, thank you. It makes a, a little bit of a left turn there. Rachel. And then it comes back into our shot and Yo. drives off down that street. <laughs> Ten so someone is driving the vehicle. Uh, She's catching up to me, Mel. Uh -huh. that, that, I wonder if that was one of the suspects. The vehicle that left. Just, oh, wow. Someone else in this area. I mean, there they were too busy talking to the left. Went in the vehicle yeah, left. So, Bye. Uh, if, uh, someone said someone thanks for the car or if it was one of the suspects that, that a nice drove off, a, got a, a really got a free car out of it wrinkle in all this <laughs> so, uh, but they've got Mike, can we hear anything about that vehicle being stolen no i mean i they i believe they had the plate I number as the Pat, you were saying, uh, and i never heard them mention at all that it was stolen Rachel, so thank that's, you, you know, damn but now yeah, all those weapons that out. were taken from that home are are <laughs> thank you so much uh she said <laughs> you get a membership and you get a membership and you get a membership Thank Everybody. you so much. She, she gave a bunch on Twitch. Twitch, and then she did some on here. Ten here. She's like, "Oh, now. I'm gonna win tonight." I said they were competing, mm -hmm. y'all. I Thank said you. they were Thank competing. <laughs> Jesus, I'm gonna have to <laughs> make sure her name pops up during the thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guess you, who won? You know, a Rachel. <laughs> well, I like the other things popping up. Do you like the Steam better? This thing on the whatever is here now. I could probably look for another one, but I think this is better than what I had before, right? Or like the old one. There goes five more. What? The things popping up on the screen. Heather! Uh, oh my god, everybody's gonna have a membership. I was the primary gifter, and now there's <laughs> Kayla and Rachel. Bro. Kayla, Rachel, <laughs> Heather. Heather, thank you so much as well. You're Stop. welcome. The gift Are you in here? Sort I'm on chat, yes. Oh I'm right shit, here. Heather, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nope. super nice. to you in a minute. Oh, no, you're fine. Make sure you guys go check out while you have the memberships. Go check out the members area. You can watch my acid yes. store or whatever else is there. Yep, and you get all the <laughs> get all the perks and all the funny faces. Yeah. So thank you, Heather. Damn. No problem. Uh, that is actually just a <laughs> Jennifer, Jennifer, you're welcome. Right down in here. Poodle pump. <laughs> there yep. okay. Yo, the car. Oh, they did find the car. Oh, looks like a crash. No. Jeez. Okay. So crash. They crash. Got the car and uh, have something to username. Did it go <laughs> by itself? There's no way. Remember, if someone was driving, yeah. they had somebody had to drive that vehicle. Did they get them as well, or did they? Sure. Right. Right. Hey, uh, yeah, they, they do have somebody here. It looks like they got somebody here oh, on the yeah. front of the vehicle. So uh, they, <laughs> oh yeah, they did get they did get to, oh, wow. somebody here. So yeah, very curious Ooh. if this was one of those suspects or if this was just maybe he was trying to get away. In that area. Maybe that was the plan: so distract the cops, get out the car, and somebody get back in and take get away with the safe mm -hmm. guns. But uh, you yeah. know, I think they were, they were the thinking that there were three people in the car, and I'm pretty sure we saw four. We did. Maybe maybe there was even someone else in that. Maybe there was a fifth person. Yeah, I know. so fast. I saw at least two run. 
out of the uh, yeah. the driver the side H-O-L. and two mm-hmm. out of the passenger side. But you're right, there could have been someone else because it did happen yes, very, very quickly. But also very um, interesting. How either they though. tried to blend in. You're welcome. Or or others, at least two more people are still at large mm-hmm. or in a house, as you mentioned, Desmond. I'm not sure who this person is that, that drove that BMW right. off. And was why that a they crashed, or too. They, yeah. yeah, or <laughs> just down there on the ground, one of the other... So, Patton, when I, I was just playing that video back, and we, Desmond had a clear shot oh, of all shit. four people getting out of the car, uh, and, you know, we never lost the shot, but you see the car start to steer. So right. there must have been a fifth person in there because I didn't see anybody jump back in after those four people got out. Wow. Huh. And I wonder if that is, that, is that the fifth person, then, who they have? Who's the, who they have right here, who, yeah. And, and again, yeah, why I didn't did think crash? there would right. be five people in there. I thought there was only four. I wonder how quickly they uh, discovered this vehicle. This is really fresh. I mean, I told Desmond about it uh, immediately when I heard it. Um, so I, I think just within the last few few minutes or so. I mean, obviously the fire department's just now getting here as well. Damn, so now we've got Wild. two crime scenes, guys. Right. Like one fifteen right. in Crocious and one fifteen in. That's uh, pretty far away. It looks like it's far away. They, they got to get away. And here you Whoever can see took it doesn't know how to drive. You see the two choppers there at the far right of the <laughs> shot. Obviously. And just got maybe Axie, three or four Axie. blocks over here. Yeah. And uh, it looks like that vehicle just front went straight seat. into that guardrail there over those uh, trees. Oh, tracks, but so. no one got out of their front passenger seat. Oh, really? Whoever was driving yeah, the car, there's no, they, no one they, went they out the front somebody, passenger seat. No, no. Uh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. The screen screen when you watch the driver got out. Probably hopping over right now. Three people oh, got no. out of the back. Video down, so it's kind of hard Diabolical. to tell. But you'll eventually oh, see yeah, it, they you know, start moving Strands again. The passenger no. is still And right? it's turning. Yeah, you see the look, headlights kind of turn right there. And then it eventually, you know, Desmond's pull, zooming in here to look at the suspects, but he'll come back out and you'll see the, the headlights of the car and the car come back down the street. It should be right in here. Oh, it is No turning. way. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> what? No, I see it. The cops didn't notice that. Oh, my God. Wow. Location bar there. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they stopped. They were like, dude, where are you going? Well, this is this is going to take yeah. some time, um, I, I would say. We have watched this pursuit of, oh, the, again in San Diego County and Poway, to be exact, yeah. where at least four, possibly five, we're thinking five, stole a safe full of guns. wonder what, what, what kind of, where'd they steal the safe, safe from? What kind uh, we of were store? told a residential, a home. Um, oh, and, and a home. In a home, and we just learned also... Uh, my colleague Angelina on the desk just talked to uh, San Diego Sheriff again. Uh, nobody was home at the time of the burglary, which is good news, uh, and nobody was injured. But he is. they are now saying, after they looked into it a little bit more, that safe is missing. Mm. Um, so they're obviously you know, hoping it ends up in the back of this car, but huh. w- they'll have to find out when they search it. Well, they obviously had to know that that safe was in that home with guns. Yeah. Indeed. It's a pretty specific thing. A targeted burglary, For sure. right? Well, yeah, now they're going over uh-huh. the BMW. Now they're BMW. searching the car. Let's see what happens if they pop the, uh, the trunk there. It's just very interesting, Des, how meticulous they are. And is that the fire department? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they were supposed to pick up the driver the that uh, ran that direction, the too. To make sure there's no fuel leak from Could the car be. when it hit the, hit the fence okay. there. Yeah. Des, go ahead before they come in and yeah no i was going to concur with mike and now uh once once they can verify the that train going through, uh, huh? then you know they'll come and, and check it out and look i mean this was yeah the uh, wow. the blue line tracks i believe right here uh where <laughs> you know just a, a few more feet and this vehicle would have uh, ended up on the tracks disrupting service there so uh, fortunately it stopped but they're going to make sure that uh, this vehicle is you know not on the, on the verge of catching fire or anything before uh, they open the back, but uh, well, once again, I, yeah. you know, a, a, a first time for everything now with uh, these suspects that they, they got out and someone apparently stayed in the car and kind of very sneakily drove, tried to drive the car away and not sure what happened here, how they how they ended up on the curb. Looks like they hit this pylon right here on the way into the curb if they were swerving to avoid a, another vehicle or what is oh. uncertain, but now we're just wondering, are, are these, you know, residents of this area, and they drove all the way down to Poway, and then all the way back home, all, you know, all that way to, to commit a burglary. It's it just uh, <laughs> definitely would like to know more about this story. Yeah, and uh, again, that's a far away to go, but obviously they seems like they had pinpointed where they wanted to exit, that's for sure.
I'm wondering if that, that was a, one, highway. Yeah, a one way street where, where the car is. Maybe as Desmond was saying, he was trying to get through there and saw a car coming in the opposite direction and swerved and then hit that uh, guardrail there. Well, that's a yeah, lot. Most likely, I mean, yeah. it, it, we've got yeah. law enforcement really tied up tonight in two different uh, uh -huh. two different areas. And they've got a lot on their hands. Even if you go back, it looks like you are, Desmond, to where the original crime scene, the Crocious and yeah, so, uh, 115. Uh -huh. I wonder if they made any um, yeah, here. headway. Leslie. And they're still yeah, there. Yeah, you see the spotlight here. It, it's still looking around in uh, one of the last known locations for, for one of those suspects. We haven't heard any uh, chatter on our end from the air about them having anyone else uh, in custody on this one. But you see... Uh, you have a lot of law enforcement from many different agencies, yeah. and it looks like uh, tempers have simmered down now at this point, not seeing anything being thrown at officers mm -hmm. uh, any longer. Yeah, it looks like things have cooled down there. Yeah, it's some kids mm -hmm. down there, too, I can tell, that are lined up uh, on the street. And, I mean, it's a big commotion yep. in your neighborhood. There's no question about that. All the lights and sirens and... Mm -hmm. Helicopters above, and hel right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and obviously going to be there for a while. Mm. You still got that... Uh, Right. Night sun. Looking for this. Um, we, we, we know there were two that they've apprehended. Mm -hmm. There are at least two more at large. Could be three. That's right. Well, the cops rolling now. Look at that. Wonder they could be anywhere. Where are those see buildings? You're following some of the yeah, cruisers there, Des, huh? Uh, yeah, just, just seeing what, what all they are up to right here. Looks like uh, some more sheriff's deputies. I wasn't sure if they were coming to attempt. Uh -huh. I, I'm just going to widen out and show you the, the area that we're talking about right here. This would be nearly impossible to seal down. This is not, you know, just like, like a single family home neighborhood where there's limited points of entry. You can see just how, how porous this area is. And that's why they were having so much trouble finding those suspects uh, to begin with. We saw some of the uh, cruisers that were up on this street that went flying by while the suspects were down in this area right here before they were finally able to get that one person in custody and then later the driver of that vehicle. But we believe that there's still or two, possibly three people that are uh, out here running, including the original driver that was driving like a total maniac out of Orange County. Yeah, I'm just very fortunate that mm -hmm. we didn't see mm -hmm. anything happen on the freeway. It, you know, for a minute there, uh, we saw yeah. some moves where it, the car seemed to, to swerve. I mean, it was easy mm -hmm. to get uh, to lose control. But now we see um, this is where the mm. work comes They're in as open. well. They're getting fingerprints from the cars. Mm -hmm. Possibly match, especially the two that they have in custody. Right. I'm also interested in, we see these um, Des right there next to the firefighters. We see these four or five, I've seen looks like men in jeans and vests. Those usually look like detectives to me, mm -hmm. um, which is pretty quick. So I, I, San Diego Sheriff may have gotten word about this and kind of been following up north as they got it because it looks like these some of these unmarked vehicles, I'm wondering if they're detective vehicles because uh, those guys in jeans and vests usually that's, you know, how detectives will dress. So right. they may have already they may already be up here, which is potentially also why we haven't seen them uh, touch the car. They may be waiting oh. for, you know, either a crime lab to come take prints or the handling agency, which would be San Diego Sheriff, uh, to come and do it. Sometimes they sometimes these agencies want to have control over their own evidence. Uh, and then you don't have any chain of custody issues. Have you well, heard whether the car's stolen? Or, or, uh, we, we never heard any yet. mention of that. I mean, they've had the plates the whole time and never mentioned it stolen. Well, if they're just getting started from San Diego, they've got a ways to go because they won't be driving as fast as, as right. these suspects yeah. were, right? <coughs> yeah, we can well, see. He's, he's got uh -huh. his gloves on. He's Sled. And they haven't opened Looking. up the trunk yet, so I'm really curious to see what's back there. Yeah, we know they pulled. We've yeah, I wish heard they that they at least open that up. Yeah. That they pulled all those weapons from the safe before right. putting them in the vehicle. Because mm -hmm. at first we thought, oh, they took the whole, the entire safe, but you know, apparently. And they're long guns, so maybe they're the special safes that are used for to lock away mm -hmm. firearms. Yeah, assumably, presumably right. it was a it was a, a firearm safe, yeah. yeah, a longer safe, yeah. yeah. Well, certainly didn't expect this nope. when uh, no. Desmond first went on the air talking about this. Um, you know, we didn't know how long this was going to last, but at the same time, to witness what we witnessed with those suspects getting out, running out of the right. vehicles and, and 
really getting away so far. Yeah. And to have a Except secondary the crime scene. Yeah, and a right? secondary mm -hmm. crime scene. Yeah. Yeah, these these uh, suspects really had a plan, uh, no doubt, Juan and, and yeah. Pat. I mean, they must have just been discussing it while they were going 120 on the freeway, and it was executed, you know, really diabolically. You know, sometimes we see these suspects that are, are just clueless. They have no idea what they're doing. That standoff situation is already taken care of. I saw somebody in the chat mentioning it. Kayla had told me about it earlier. I think the, I don't know if he killed himself or he's in custody. I'm not sure, but it's already, they're dubbing it resolved. Um, Bacon Mama, thank you for the 14 month membership. Chase was a nice distraction. Thanks, Mel. Kilama, thank you for the super chat. Says they're ordering French curlers from Dunkin' Donuts. Um, wait, what happened? Um, the squeaky, thanks for becoming a member. Key Fiender, thank you for becoming a member. Leslie, thank you for the super chat. Says we love you, Mel. Get some rest. I know I'm gonna probably rest this weekend. Hopefully, that's the plan. I do want to. Well, I don't know. I want to make those two videos. I think at least two videos, short videos. You went to yeah, and you're right. looking at all these other people that converge in the area. That yeah. Yeah, CB, yeah, thanks for becoming a member. Yeah, oh, the headlights the in the car. Yeah, we see it. Yeah, right on the top of the shot there. And you know what's interesting? Um, didn't notice at any time during this, there was no tracking mode. No. And, they and were it, full on, not only one, but at least two mm, choppers overhead. Right. Yeah, and definitely on the ground. CHP doesn't generally do tracking, but especially if uh, you know for a crime like this. The, 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 the tracking crimes are generally unarmed you know, stolen vehicles type things, but if, if, they, if, they, if they believe these guys had a safe full of weapons. An arsenal yeah, of they, weapons. They right. didn't pull yeah. back. And they were, they were driving pretty dangerously, mm -hmm. but oh, they, already they have were a tow still truck. And it's interesting to find out who was the, uh, the robbery victim or the burglary victim and, and how they knew to go to po Poway and... Um, well, is that near... Well, I'm thinking, no, Camp Pendleton. Yeah, and a lot of times, you know, we've unfortunately seen people that'll post things that they have on social media, and that's, you right. know, ends up that's being true. an open, yeah. open invitation for burglars. Well, look, it looks like a tow truck has arrived to take away the uh, car there, Mike. Yeah, I would assume that it's, yeah. I mean, it's an evidence, probably an evidence tow. I don't, I mean, I don't know if they'll take it all the way back to San Diego tonight or if they'll take it to a local sheriff station or CHP office um, to, to be processed or, or at least held until the San Diego right. sheriffs can come get it. And, so we, and is that mm -hmm. when they would, you know, in terms of evidence, like mm -hmm. put the, the vehicle on the bed there and then take it and pull the weapons out or would they remove the evidence before it's hard to tell in theory mm -hmm. you would think they would want to get the weapons out of there mm -hmm. it's not something you don't really want weapons jostling around in the back of a car while you're taking it but it all depends on you know kind of the investigation and what the sheriffs think you know maybe the crime was or what's in there there are also situations we've seen and i'm not saying this is happening here but we have seen situations before since the car got out of their sight you know, there's a situation where they may have to obtain a warrant before they can go in. Uh, maybe. You know, we dealt with that. There was a, a hazmat situation in Orange County. Where Why would they need they a warrant? The fire department was able to clear it for any hazards, but then before they could actually go search everything, they had to obtain a warrant for a judge. Um, so because they lost it's sight stolen, of it, we could though, be right? dealing with that now. Yeah, that no. they, for whatever reason, need to get a warrant. I mean, it's hard to tell, but... Right. That's that's a call, and maybe if this wasn't reported stolen, it's considered private know. property, so right. they would need that. <laughs> right, because if um, it is stolen, then they have the probable cause to right. search it. But if right. it's not stolen, it's their property. We may be you in a situation a where they need a warrant. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, that makes sense. That could take time. But oh, you got to wake up a judge. and yeah. A lot of time. Well, <laughs> oh, we know oh, what three happens. Three-day weekend, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, it does happen, and this is something pretty important. Absolutely, You yeah. know, considering. And CHP and the Sheriff's Department both have... Um, uh, uh, you know, vehicle evidence storage. So they'll they'll take it, they'll secure it. it. It won't be touched by anybody until they can get that, you know, warrant, if that's the case here. Um, but, you know, they have places they can take it. You would think they'd want with so many eyes on it right now to pull out the weapons mm -hmm. so that everyone can see it, including us and, right. and, and the viewing public, so that they can't say perhaps it, uh, it was placed evidence or, or these guns were, you know. Well, that did, he's got a bag of some sort. A backpack of some sort, right? And that one detective or, or evidence collector with the black um, windbreaker, he does look like he had a camera mm -hmm. hanging in front of him. So, oh yeah, we've seen them take. The they're scene. still taking pictures. So Desmond, what do you think? What do you think on um, what's happening over there at the other crime scene? 
Yeah, I'll, I'm going to show you that in a second, but I noticed this vehicle right oh. here that is up on, it appears to be up on the sidewalk, and I'm wondering if this is the vehicle that uh, was was involved with this crash, if this person was trying to make a turn or something like that, and then this driver panicked or swerved and then went uh -huh. into the curb. I'm just yeah. noticing them right here parked the wrong oh, way. Oh, I didn't it looks see like that they're, one. Uh, mm -hmm tires are up on the sidewalk like maybe they ex accidentally drove up there at almost like the end of a crash or something like that i see this person oh. uh who's out here standing so that's that's my thought that oh like that, that SUV. vehicle may have been uh -huh. involved uh-huh yeah this uh that or minivan mm -hmm. whatever that is but uh we can certainly i thought it was the cars behind them to the other not that one right there i've seen and see how that's looking out the, the termination of the pursuit and uh, we still see the spotlight here. They've been looking in this area, but you know, if the suspects they're gone in, would, in one of these units, oh, yeah, they're gone. Um, they're long I gone. Mean, I, I can't imagine that they're going to be uh, coming out anytime soon. They're and, probably sitting down you know, laughing if that's at the be, TV. Uh, a, a mm -hmm. warrant situation, or if they're just going to try to go door to door, or or what they're what they're going to try to do to get these suspects. But I I suspect this is not going to be one of those where they're just going to you know, call it a day and we'll try to get them later. This was an extremely serious crime and executed in, in an incredibly dangerous way. No question. And they, mm -hmm. they can go door to door. They certainly can do that. They could, right? Yeah. Yeah. We've seen them. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of a uh, lot of units. It's going to take a lot of uh, yeah. manpower. And here right there, Pat, on the right, we're showing our viewers again. This is where that uh, bit of confusion started happening, where several groups of people started congregating. As Desmond was saying, we see people in in, in light colored hoodies, dark colored hoodies, all kind of intermingling. We know we saw four people jump out of the car. We now know mm -hmm. possibly a fifth who drove the car away and later crashed. Um, there were definitely mm -hmm. a lot more people on scene there once police arrived. You can see how the crowd swells in just a matter of seconds. Yeah, it grows mm -hmm. and grows. People yeah. obviously from the area were uh -huh. coming out of the um, those homes there. Yeah. Maybe to find out what's going on and possibly again we, we said it was executed at uh, to the point where you can surmise that these um, suspects knew where they were going mm -hmm. possibly they know people there in the area it could have been waiting for them mm -hmm. it's not as if we could see somebody on a on a cell phone and know? it was very they, quick they could too have, of course mm -hmm. well and that's the other thing i mean usually you know back at this other scene that desmond's looking at now when they run into a home they're, they're usually on the radios at least very quick to say this isn't his home. This we, you know, this he yeah. doesn't know these people, and I've not heard any of that. So it's possible that they either live here or know somebody that's here. This, you know, like Desmond said, this seemed a very familiar place. They immediately mm -hmm. got off their freeway, pulled immediately in here, and all ran out right when they ran out. So it it, it seems, you know, Des, I think you, a, a familiar place. Yeah, I mean, really, no question. I doubt that they just got right off an Imperial Highway, uh, you know, by coincidence, and then jumped out of the vehicle here. I mean. I mean, there there were people that were coming up and, and and just talking, mingling. It looked like you know, giving high five and just chatting them up, like these were their neighbors, is is or, or their friends, is is mm -hmm. what it looked like. I mean, who who can say for sure? But um, the way all all of that went down, um, it was just it just seemed extremely well coordinated with uh, with these suspects yeah. in an, in an attempt to evade law enforcement. And we only have two of, of you know believed to be five people that are in custody right now, less than less than half. Yeah, the most urgency we saw is when they both, when they ran out of both sides of that vehicle, mm -hmm. that blue BMW, and then everything just seemed to slow, slow down. down. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, Juan, the crowds began to swell, and that's the officers pinpointing the guy in the white hoodie right. there who got on the ground right. immediately. Mm -hmm. And very different from the pursuit <clears throat> that we had two nights ago where the driver kept going round and round in circles in a familiar area, but it kept dragging and, and on and on for quite a bit of time. This one, as we've been mentioning, it was on the freeway for a good amount of time, off the freeway, and within a few minutes, speed. everything just unfolded. Yeah. yeah. But you figure they weren't taking any chances with this. Right. Uh, but didn't we say that, that one, a couple of nights ago, Des, didn't he throw weapons out the vehicle? That was the van pursuit. Uh, I, yeah. The, uh -huh, yeah, the one last night. That's right, with the, with the van. Uh, that ended with the uh, with the pit maneuver. So yeah, I mean we've had quite a few pursuits, and then the the night before was the guy who was live streaming That's right. uh, his pursuit, the one that uh, I believe they had to pit five times That's to right. uh, to bring to an end. And so, they, then they threw um, down. Oh, this week has numerous bike strips. Yep. 
Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, and numerous. I mean, so it's hey, really been chat. a week of some <laughs> hey. pretty uh, unique pursuits. Hey, Mimi. Sure. Hey, Mimi. Dangerous and impossibly hey, very violent pursuits. Hey, um, you guys. I know exactly what happened. They can wrap this up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we know it's going to take. Uh, let so yeah, well, not like specifically. But when you oh. live in a hood, like you'll mm. drive through, they'll hear the cops and stuff coming out. They'll call mm. their friends or mm -hmm. they'll do a call and everybody just comes outside. Oh, when yeah. I was little, I lived in the projects with my aunt for like a year and a half. And whenever we saw the helicopters, we would just start running. <laughs> we wouldn't even be doing anything. We just start running just to distract them. It was a game to us. Start running. Kids. Yeah. Just start running. Yeah. Yep. Lord. Good times. Do they oh, all know yeah. to come out with hoodies and long pants on? <laughs> well, it's the time of the year. It's cold out. So, I mean, if you do. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't know where they are, but I know in Phoenix, Arizona, it's cold and we're in the desert, but. <laughs> yeah. But my brother, he used to be a little criminal. We're on Discord, guys. And he would have. Um, he would have a jacket, and he would sew another jacket inside, so he would run away, dip off somewhere, and turn his jacket inside out, and walk out just like all those people did. Yeah, that's oh, good for you. Oh, yeah. Sounds like... When I saw them jump out and the car in. drive off, I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and he was... We've had a number of, uh, this is just, just in the another week, pursuit, another yeah, just in the you week have to I just remember we talk about go to Mel's Discord link and then go from there. We have seen I think that's how you do it, isn't it, Mel? Yeah, I can't remember. I put the link. Like the, it's a single car garage that they'll go put it in on their lot, so hopefully they wouldn't be able to get it out of there, but. And not something like this. Yeah. Not when you have that kind of evidence that they're going to be going right. over. Meanwhile, I wonder how long it took for the cops to realize that there was another person in the car. I wonder how what this would have looked like if it was sled on the on the case. Everybody gets away. <laughs> All right. Well, this is an incredible scene. Two crime scenes here tonight. Uh, we started this at uh, what about 9 15 or something like yep. that we had a few stories of course we started at well, nine o'clock i guess with, that's uh, it i mean i don't know what else i guess they're uh, waiting three su suspects who right. stole a safe full of long guns in poway and drove all the way from san diego county mm -hmm. here to off the 105 in the watts area yep. and this is where it ended they just stopped mm -hmm. the vehicle got out ran out from both sides of the car, the driver side, there were mm -hmm. at least two people, the passenger side, at least two people. We had CHP overhead, the sheriff's department um, following, and Orange County. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, right behind, this is where they were on the freeway. Or, okay, and this is when they exited. And then jumped out of the vehicles, as we were talking here. But there was still someone behind, because that blue car, if you notice, we thought it, was, it had stopped. And we would Someone think it was just going to hit the curb or something and stop because it wasn't going too oh, fast slick. at the time. Oh, slick. And then when all the confusion mm -hmm. happened and everybody took off in different directions, we saw that car in the um, top part of the shot there, right, right there. You can see the headlights in the shadow of that car mm, drive away. As Mike was telling us, it's being driven away by somebody. And then we later saw it crashed uh, about four or five blocks away. And that was quite the uh, distraction and diversion uh, from what else was going on on the ground because they also... People in the neighborhood came out. These suspects really apparently mixed in so with them, especially one in the, the white hoodie that they do have in custody um, that was initially in the Crocious uh, 115th area of that Watts uh, apartment uh, complex. The other suspect drove away in that blue car, but later crashed with a minivan by the train tracks, and that's how they were able to take that person into custody. So by our count, they have two that we know of, and there are still. I think three spikes are reusable. Right. Are spikes reusable? The second driver. Is I don't know. It's a good the question. Hospital there. There's another train going by. Yeah, um, I think they yeah, are. Just a, really a wild, you know, situation. This whole thing. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of evidence they're able to get from the fingerprints. Now that they have the car, uh, they could potentially get prints off of the weapon as well. Des, you still haven't seen them open the trunk at all or do anything with the vehicle, right? No, not at all. Uh, this is actually taking you know quite a bit of time here to. Uh, for them to sort all this out. I mean, I see them looking through the interior of the car, 
uh, maybe they're looking for some fingerprints or uh, hair samples or, or some other sort of evidence or something like that. But uh, no, they have not opened the truck. Yeah, all a very uh, interesting situation. I believe uh, Jeff Vaughn and Susie Sa are joining us now. Jeff? Yeah, this is KCAL 9 News at 8 o'clock on this Friday evening. We are continuing the coverage here of this breaking news and search for a number of burglary suspects. This all began in uh, San Diego Still County, the city of Poway. Uh, this uh, was after a report of a burglary yeah, of a home where a the, stolen uh, safe uh, was in a residential here, home in the city of Poway. Uh, a number well, of guns inside to, uh, of that safe. Thankfully, nobody was in the home at that point in time. Uh, and and then that uh, police pursuit, the as you see there on the right-hand part of your screen, continued from San Diego County up through Orange County, then ended in Watts at 115th and Croches. And that's where we Ram saw a number of suspects bail out of that public. vehicle. We, uh, we don't know if we saw four for sure, but it looked like the car was then driven by somebody else that continued on. So maybe there were five suspects that uh, uh, were part of this burglary. It appeared that one stayed in the car, then continued to drive and then that's crashed great. that vehicle about four blocks away. That on the right hand part of your screen is going to be initially where those suspects bailed out at 115th and Croches. And again, a safe full of weapons have been taken from a home in Poway. Up, this is a pursuit that took us all the way into the Watts area. Right now, police are actively looking for suspects. I'm Jeff Vaughn, joined by Susie Sa, as we're here on KCAL News at 10 o'clock on this Friday evening. And I think we'll probably just stay with this uh, breaking news here, Susie, as we continue to look. We know, I, I think three people are at, at large at this point in time, maybe one in custody, but we don't know if there were five or four. We're trying to discern that information. Of course, we've got SkyCal overhead. We've got Mike Rogers on the assignment desk, and Susie's here now with me. Yeah, we, we were uh, talking about how we, it's, it's unclear exactly how many people we're looking for, but it seems like we saw, at least from our vantage point, three people, as you saw, running from that car as uh, the chase was coming to an end, and then it turned into a search for these burglary suspects. But, Jeff, you were talking about this starting all the way down in Poway. That's San Diego County. So these burglary suspects here now oh, in Jesus. Watts made quite mm. a great distance driving sure did. up from San Diego County. You know, we do have SkyCal in operation up over the scene uh, as we take a look at the uh, left hand part of your screen is going to be the live if we can bring that up uh, and take a look at the police response let's go to Desmond Shaw Des we have two scenes working here they're basically about four blocks apart can you give us kind of a bird's eye view of what you're looking at here Yes, this scene right here is at Willowbrook Avenue and 115th. This was the suspect's vehicle where we believe that there were actually five people inside. At first believed to be only three, but we saw four people get out and then this vehicle actually steer itself uh, on, well, I mean, obviously with somebody behind the wheel, uh, come about four blocks down and then it seems like something happened here when this vehicle, the driver of the vehicle is trying to escape. I'm thinking it's uh, kind of dark. Well, this, there's a, 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 a minivan right here that maybe was sideswiped or something like that and uh, to cause this vehicle to crash into the blue line track. So this is the vehicle and now we're waiting to see they're probably going to put it on the back of this flatbed a tow truck uh, and take it to a secure facility. They uh, need to get that you. to San Diego County where the burglary happened. And then as I widen out over here to the mm -hmm. east to this housing project, just to the north of the 105 off of the Imperial Highway exit, uh, this is where we saw that vehicle it was blasting up the freeway, 120 miles an hour, went right through this red light and then up into this area. And that was this is where we saw four of the suspects get out. But now uh, it looks like we may actually only have one scene because we could see that the police have left this mm. area uh, they up. still have their helicopter up here scouring uh, around, but they were they were really focused on these units right in here where they believe they saw the driver of the vehicle get out and run into one of those units and obviously hasn't come out. So we believe that there were five people now in total in that vehicle, and only two of them are currently in custody. Uh, Jeff. Okay, Des, thank you so much. Yeah, well, that's it. That is it, man. I was a little tired. I am tired. All right, we Thank had a long all, day. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> we've all had like a long day, right? Mm -hmm. Um, all right. three day weekend. Three day mm -hmm. weekend. I guess I'm gonna call the stream. Thank you guys so much for coming. Let me try again, everybody. Uh, you gonna call it? Call it? Well, definitely call it. YouTube. I don't know. 
I don't know about Discord. Maybe talk for like five minutes. I don't know. I'm tired. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, Definitely YouTube. Good night, YouTube. Good night, YouTube. Good night, YouTube. Good night. Um, Doctor Moskowitz, thank you so much again for the super chat. Says just just love the channel. You work. I can't even fucking read. Just love the channel, Mel. You work hard and much love to you (laughs) from me and Doctor Edward. And to Maddie, such a cutie. Thank you. And um, was, let's see. Oh, one more thing. Yeah. And Rachel, thank you again so much. Appreciate you. All right, we're out of here, man. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bloop, bloop. Oh, bloop, bloop. do I do the redirect? Who are those bloop. people talking in the background? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the redirect to data. So I meant to do it for the other one. So just check out Datasu if you want, 10% off right now until Sunday, I think. Click the link.